Former President Trump held a rally in Pennsylvania on a rainy Friday night for GOP Senate candidate Dr. Mehmet Oz. Despite Mr. Trump's endorsement, there was a mixed reception for the television personality. Rivals have accused him of switching from liberal to conservative positions. He got a few boos during the rally. Fellow GOP Senate candidate J.D. Vance also took the stage in Pennsylvania. He won the Ohio Republican primary election last Tuesday after the former president endorsed him. The Pennsylvania primary elections will be held on May 17th. Joining us now for more on this is Joe Watkins. He is a political commentator and the host of Joe Watkins' State of Independence on Lighthouse TV. He is also a former White House aide to President George H.W. Bush. Joe, it's great to have you. Great to be with you, Maggie. So it, it's fair to say Dr. Oz did not receive an entirely warm greeting. What did you make of it? Well, that's because Dave McCormick is, uh, has spent a lot of money and very effectively uh, to put some doubt in the minds of, uh, of voters, Pennsylvania Republican voters, about, about Dr. Oz. Uh, he certainly branded Oz as somebody who's liberal on a host of issues and, uh, and, and somebody who's uh, an ounce, uh, a carpetbagger. And, uh, and so Oz has that yet to overcome. But having the endorsement of, of, of President Trump is, has been huge for him and, and, and clearly makes him the person still uh, to, to, to beat in this uh, Senate primary. Joe, following this week's Roe v. Wade a Supreme Court leak, former President Trump did not weigh in on the issue of abortion, but he did acknowledge it. I want to play some tape. Let's listen to this first. Democrats are the party of crime. The party of chaos and the party of death, they are. Whether you hate saying it or like saying it, they're the party of death. Republicans are the party of law, order, and life. Joe, why do you think he kept his distance from discussing the GOP's stance against abortion? Well, it's, a, it's an issue that divides voters. And, of course, if you're supporting candidates who are running for election uh, in primaries and then again, more importantly, in the general uh, election in the fall, uh, you want to alienate as few voters as possible. And, and, and the, the abortion issue is one that uh, certainly gets people uh, pretty riled up. It's an important issue uh, for Pennsylvania voters, uh, uh, certainly for pro-life people and also for pro-choice people. And so uh, the president wouldn't do anything, I think, to, uh, to, to gin up uh, anger or angst uh, among uh, the opposition uh, because it, would make, it could hurt his, uh, uh, his candidates. And, you know, analysts believe former President Trump's endorsement clinched J.D. Vance's victory in the Ohio Senate primary election earlier this week. Do you think he can produce the same results for Dr. Oz? I think so. I think very possibly so. Uh, clearly, uh, he has very, very strong support still in the state of Pennsylvania. So uh, his coming out for or against the candidate has huge implications for that candidate. And clearly, in the case of uh, Dr. Oz, I mean, that really kind of uh, pushed Dr. Oz to the front uh, the front of the pack. Uh, he was doing okay when he started. He had some advertising that's been effective, but but uh, clearly having the Trump endorsement was a uh, was a uh, was uh, great for momentum for for Dr. Oz, and it helped Vance in Ohio. Uh, it's likely going to help uh, Oz in Pennsylvania. Dave McCormick shouldn't be discounted. He's got lots of money to spend, and he's spending it pretty effectively. So he's making a strong case for himself, and he has Trump credentials too. Uh, but at the same time, I think that uh, that Trump's support for Oz is, uh, is 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 very 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 a huge thing for the Oz campaign. Yeah, absolutely. Why does the former president? still remain such a formidable force in the GOP? I think if you read uh, Rick Santorum's book about blue-collar conservatives, you'd have an understanding of, uh, of the, the love that so many Americans, uh, working-class Americans, have for President Trump. It's the reason why he got 75 million votes uh, back in, in 2020 and why he retains such a strong hold on, on voters today. He understands what they care about and he talks to it. Uh, he's, a, he's, he's, he's actually a very strong communicator and, uh, and, and he's not likely to lose his grip on, on that base of support within the party. So, uh, so Republicans, uh, whether they're for him or against him, have to acknowledge the fact that, that Donald Trump is still the leader of the Republican Party and that uh, millions of Americans still follow him very, very closely. All right, Joe Watkins, thank you so much for joining us, especially on a weekend. <laughs> Thanks, Meg. Great to be with you.